Hey guys, it's your boy Peter John. Welcome to the episode 700 of Logo History. Today I'm going to talk about Starry, Dallas Stars, I Spy, Bartle Entertainment, KLWY, KGWN-TV, Homeland, Signal 1, Troma Entertainment and Aronax Animation Studios. These are the people who requested today's logos. I hope you like it. First, I'm gonna talk about Starry. It is a lemon-lime soft drink distributed in the United States by PepsiCo. Distribution first began in January 2023. The brand is aimed at competing against Coca-Cola's Sprite and Dr. Pepper's 7-Up. 2022 to the present, there is the word Starry in white text on a black outline. Here is the lemon version, a variant and a commercial. I'm thirsty. Try this. Starry. It's a new lemon-lime soda that's crisp, clear, and... So refreshing. So tasty. What the? Just like that. No! Oh, chill. He was a soda. New Starry Lemon Lime Soda. It's different. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about I Spy. It is an American stop-motion climation television series that aired on the HBO Family Digital Pay TV channel in the United States from December 14, 2002, to September 21, 2003, based on the children's book series created and written by Jean Marzallo and Walter Wick. 2002-2003, there are the words I and spy in red text, and on the letter I there is a red magnifying glass. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Troma Entertainment. It is an American independent film production and distribution company founded by Lloyd Kaufman and Michael Herz in 1974. The company produces low-budget independent films, primarily of the horror comedy genre. Many of them play on 1950s horror with elements of farce, parody, gore, and splatter. 1974 to TH Epperson, there is a green oval shape on a black outline, and on the outline, there are the words almost 40 years of real and independence in white text, and under them there ray the words entertainment and ink in white text, and on the oval shape there is a black line, and on it, there is the word trauma in black text, and on the letter O there is a black and white drawing. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Homeland. It is a supermarket chain in the United States. Homeland is the main supermarket banner of Homeland Acquisition Corporation, the supermarket banner's parent company, and the names are often used interchangeably. Homeland's headquarters is in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. As of 2019, it operates 79 supermarkets in Oklahoma, Kansas, Georgia and Texas. 1988 to 2021, there is the word Homeland in blue text, and under it there are the words of fresh and experience in blue text. Here is a commercial. It's Homeland's Labor Day Spectacular, featuring whole packer trim beef brisket, 89 cents a pound, and ground beef in 10-pound bonus packs, only 79 cents a pound. Any 18-ounce craft barbecue sauce, just 39 cents. Fresh cantaloupe, 19 cents a pound. Plus 24-pack regular or diet Pepsi, although $3.98. All Homelands are open Labor Day. Homeland, it's a good deal, a guaranteed good deal, it's a good deal better. 2021 to the present, there is a blue rectangle, and inside it there is the word Homeland in white and green text, and on the letter O there is a green plant, and under the word Homeland, there are the words your homegrown and advantage in white text. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Aronax Animation Studios. It is the Lima's leading animation studio with an infrastructure dedicated to cutting-edge 3D computer animation and special effects cutting. 2010 to 2015, there is the word Aronax in black text, and inside it the letter O there are two black shapes, and under the word Aronax, there are the words animation and studios in black text. Here is an intro. From 2015 to the present, there is the word Aronax in blue text, and under it there are two blue lines, and between them there are the words Guy VFX and 3D in red text. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Bartle Entertainment. It is a Canadian animation studio founded in Vancouver, British Columbia, in 1987. 
The studio's name comes from its founders, Barry Ward and his wife Delna Bassania. The studio is best known for animating Rick and Morty, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and The Dragon Prince. 2002 to 2008, there is a light purple shape on a purple outline, and on it, there is the word Bartle in green, pink, purple, yellow, red, white, light, blue, orange, and blue text with a bunch of textures, and under the shape, there are the words entertainment and ink in yellow and green gradient text. Here is an intro. 2008 to 2022, there is the word Bartle in green, yellow, red, white, purple, black, light, green, orange, and blue text, and under it, there are the words entertainment and ink in black text. Here is an intro. 2022 to the present, there is a green cube, and on it there is the word Bartle in dark blue text. Here is a variant. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about KLWY. It is a television station in Cheyenne, Wyoming, United States, affiliated with the Fox and Met networks. The station is owned by Coastal Television and maintains a transmitter southwest of Cheyenne along I-25. KLWY is a semi-satellite of KFNB, the Fox affiliate in Casper. 1988-1993, here we have the logo of the first KLWY's name, KFNB. There is a black square, and inside it there is a dark gray number 20, and on the right of the square, there is the word KNFBTV in dark gray text. 1993 to 2000, there are the words tonight 11.30 pm KFNB, and 20 in dark gray text. 2000 to 2002, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 2002 to 2009, they changed its name to KLWY. There is an orange and blue shape, and on the orange part there is the word Kluai in black text, and on the blue part, there is the word Fox in white text, and on the right of it, there is a white number 27. 2009 to the present, there is a purple rectangle, and on it there are four white searchlights, and between them there is the word Fox in yellow text, and on the right of the searchlights, there is a golden number 27, and under it, there is a light purple line, and under it, there are the words Kluai Cheyenne and Scottsbluff in yellow text. Here is a variant and a bumper. You're watching KFNB, Wyoming's Fox TV. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about KGWN TV. It is a television station in Cheyenne, Wyoming, United States, affiliated with CBS and the CW. The station is owned by Gray Television and maintains studios on East Lincoln Way, East 14th Street, I 80 Bus US 30 in Cheyenne. 1954 to 1975, here we have the logo of the first KGWN TV's name, KFBC TV. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 1975 to 1978, here we have the logo of the second KGWN TV's name, Kaiku TV. There are the words Arminian Network and black text, and under them there are 11 black shapes representing the numbers 5, 10 and 3, being separated by black dots, and under the numbers, there are the words Kaiku and KSTF and KTVS in white text on a black outline, and under them, there are the words Cheyenne, Wyoming, Scottsbluff, Nebraska, Sterling and Colorado in black text. 1978 to 1986, there are the words Kaiku TV in 5 and white text on a black outline. 1986 to 1992, they changed its name to KGWN TV. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find this logo. 1992 to 1997, there is a background of a building, and on it there are the words KGWN TV and 5 in golden text, and under them, there is the word Cheyenne in yellow text on a black outline. Here is a bumper. KGWN TV5, Cheyenne. 1997 to 2015, there is a blue rectangle on a white and dark orange outline, and on it there are the words CBS and 5 in white text, and under them there is a white line, and under it, there is a white CBS logo that consists in a white circle inside a white shape, and on the right of the logo, there are the words news and channel in white text. Here is a bumper. Watch Family Feud weekdays at 4 on your station. 2010 to 2015, there is a blue square, and inside it, there is a white CBS logo, and on the bottom right of it, there is a white number 5. Here is the weather logo in an intro. News Channel 5 Sports. 
2015 to the present, there is a blue rectangle, and inside it there is a white silhouette of a bull, and on it there is the word KGWN in white text, and under the rectangle, there is the word Cheyenne in black text, and on the right of them, there is a black CBS logo, and on the right of it, there is a the CW logo, that consists in the word the in green text inside the word CW in green text, and on the right of this logo, there is a NBC logo, that consists in a rainbow peacock, and under all of this, there is a red line. Here is an intro. Wyoming News Now starts now. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Dallas Stars. They are a professional ice hockey team based in Dallas. They compete in the National Hockey League as a member of the Central Division in the Western Conference and were founded during the 1967 NHL expansion as the Minnesota North Stars, based in Bloomington, Minnesota. 1967-1974, here we have the logo of the first Dallas Stars name, Minnesota North Stars. There is a green ring and inside it there is a green letter N with an arrow on its top, and above it, there is a yellow star on a green outline, and under the ring, there are the words Minnesota North and Stars in green text. Here is an intro. These were the men who would implement the Harris Plan. 1974 to 1979, the ring has been removed, the letter N and the star are bigger, and the letter N is now on a yellow outline. 1979 to 1991, the star is now on a green and black outline, the letter N is now on a black and yellow outline, and the words Minnesota North and stars have been removed. Here is an intro. Right. Who at 5'8 and 160 pounds is 6 inches shorter, 30 pounds lighter. 1991 to 1993, there is the word stars in brown text, and under it, there is a green star on a black and brown outline. Here is an intro. I don't really feel that uh, our momentum has been broken in the series. Uh, we've been able to take an advantage in the series by consecutive wins in game one. 1993 to 1996, they changed its name to Dallas Stars. Now above the word stars there is the word Dallas in green text, the word stars is now in dark brown text, and the star is now on a black and dark brown outline. Here is an intro. The only player in stars is 1996 to 1999, the logo is darker. Here is an intro. For the fourth time this season, in the previous three games, five for the possible six points. 1999 to 2013, the font of the word Dallas has changed. Here is a variant and an intro. Our goaltenders are brought to you by... 2013 to 2021, there is a white star on a black and green outline, and on it, there is a white letter D on a black outline. Here is a variant and an intro. Stars beat the Bruins 3 to 2. Storybook. 2021 to the present, the outline is brighter. Here is an intro. From Patia, Sweden, number 5, Neil. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Signal 1. It is an independent local radio station owned and operated by Bauer as part of the Hits Radio Network. It broadcasts to Staffordshire and South Cheshire. As of March 2023, the station has a weekly audience of 162,000 listeners according to Rager. 1992-1993, there are the word signal and one in black and red text, and under them there are four lines two green and two red, and between them, there are the words 102.6 and 96.9 FM in black text. 1993 to 1997, there is a dark blue and black gradient number one, and on it there is an orange rectangle, and on it, there are a bunch of blue, pink, yellow and red shapes on a black outline, and on the orange rectangle, there is the word signal in white text on a black outline, and on one of the yellow shapes, there is the word 102.6 FM in black text. 1997 to 2000, there is a red and blue rectangle, and on the red part, there are the words signal and one in blue and white text, and under them there are a bunch of white dots, and on the blue part there is a red diamond shape, and on the right of it, there is a number 102.6 FM in white text. 2000 to 2003, there is a picture of a woman with her mouth open on a black background, and on it, there is the word signal in white text, and on the right of it, there is a white ring, and inside it, there is a red number 1, and on the right of the ring, there is a number 102.6 FM in red text. 2003 to 2005, there is the word signal in black text, and under it there are the word 96.4, 96.9 plus 102.6 and FM in red text, and on the right of them there is a black ring, and inside it, there is a red number 1. 2005 to 2010, there is a blue rounded shape, 
and inside it, there are the words signal and one in white and red text, and under them there is the word 102.6 FM in white text, and under it, there are the words 96.4 FM, 96.9, and FM in white text. 2010 to 2015, the shape is brighter, the font has changed, and now on the right of the word 96.9 FM, there is the word dab in white text. Here is a variant. 2015 to 2016, now under the blue shape there is a red chat box, and inside it, there are the words I love this in station in white text. 2016 to the present, there are the words signal, and one in gray and red text, and on the right of them, there are two rings gray and red, and inside them there is a gray pinpoint, and on it, there is a white play button. Here is a commercial. The biggest hits, the biggest throwbacks. I, I got a feeling. Okay guys, this is it for today. I really hope you liked it. Stay tuned for the episode 701 that is going to be about NHL Draft, Tondero Films and Mountain Dew Atomic Blue. And also don't forget to join my Discord server and to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my videos. I am Peter John, this is Logo History and until the next video, bye.